Hey everybody, it's Friday with some more Octopath Traveler. I can't speak today. <laughs> Last time, we arrived in Boulderfall and heard the beginning of Therian's Tales of Thief. And learned that he has his sights set on the treasure of House Ravis here in Boulderfall. This time, with him in tow and leading our party on, well, a questionable venture, we're going to be heading up to Ra House Ravis, but not before I show you guys that I ended up changing his equipment. The knife that he got last time was was pretty good, but I decided to go with the arcane knife that I was said I was going to buy last time, but well, I didn't want to waste all the money he had. It actually gives him pretty good elemental attack, and well, this is a good time to mention that Therian's elemental attack is actually pretty good for him being mainly a support character, as well, we'll see in a bit. But anyway, the theme I'm going to be going with here is pretty much the same, is pretty much the same as well when we heard the beginning of his tale. So anyway, let's head on up. Two guards at the gates. If I can fool them in. Time to sell the merchant. Uh... Good day, sirs. I've come to call on the Ravises. Would you kindly announce my arrival? Oi. They're not seeing anyone today. Be gone with you at once. Be gone, I say! <laughs> Some tells me this one's bark is worse than his bite. My sincerest apologies. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. You see, I'm a merchant of some repute. <laughs> a merchant and of repute, you say? Don't make me laugh. You ought not to judge a man by his robes. To tell you the truth. As a matter of fact, I was personally summoned by the lady of the house. And I doubt she'd react kindly upon hearing I was turned away. Summoned! You! <laughs> you think we're gonna believe that? Called s I can't even say that word, I'm sorry. <laughs> if we had a leaf for every rotten thief who gave us that story, we'd be as rich as the Ravises! But since we aren't, we're here protecting their fortune from would-be swindlers like you. <laughs> thought you could outsmart us, didn't you? Next time you're summoned, remember to bring your letter. Oh. Would you be referring to this letter, perchance? What the? Hey. How did you get that? It must be a fake! Desperate times. Now for the finishing blow. You still aren't convinced. I fear there's not much else I can do. I'll take my leave, but I will give Lady Ravis a full report on what happened today. I wonder how she'll see fit to deal with this affront to my good name. Oh, hold on there. Wait, sir! We were only doing our jobs! <sighs> yeah. <sighs> you may pass. Have my gratitude. Why, thank you, gentlemen. Now then. Now the real fun begins. I'll just sneak in through that window over there. Before we do that, I want to make sure there's nothing... Oh yeah, there is something over here. Broadsword. Can't go in through there. Wonder if this guard has anything of value. Candy and a tree nut. Very minor healing items, but eh, wouldn't hurt to wouldn't hurt to just take them, I guess. Is there any? Well, doesn't look like there's anything up. So let's head in to the Ravis Manor. Looks like we can do it. Looks like we have a bit of exploring to do. Let's start. Let's head. Let's see what this first floor has to offer us. 
Not much from the look of it. Oh, I was wrong. There's a treasure chest over here. Oh, and there's a purple chest up there. An inspiring plum. Very nice. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to de-equip Cyrus's evasive maneuvers. Uh, there we go. Just so we can get in some fights for Therian. There we go! Oh, surprised our foe! Heck yeah! Bows and fire! Letting the hunt begin. So let's hit him with the rain of arrows! That didn't go very well. Um, Cyrus. Fireball! And he's dead. I'll do my best. Rufus, forget, never forget. All right, Therian! Therian, I... Therian, well, he's, his starting job is a thief, and thief is probably one of my favorite job classes because it can be really fun to use. Right away, he's got two things. Steal, steal the item from single foe, as well as wildfire, deal heavy fire damage to a single foe. He attacks using daggers and, and long swords. So, your options are there. So, we get uh, uh, not very many, um, not a very good chance to steal. So, let's try a sword. All right, nothing there. So, let's try lightning. There we go. All right, so let's do land. All right, so if you guys aren't weak to that, then my guess is, yeah, there we go. I'll do my best. All right, we'll hit this guy on the head once. This guy's gonna go for the sweep. Oh boy. All right, so we'll smack you. Therian hit him with the yeet. All right, let's go for Lin. There we go. Ophelia, if you could be so kind as to heal us up. It wasn't uh, major damage, thankfully, but Therian has seen better days. So, what? Let's go for the steal. Got an inspiring plum. Very nice. And we're just going to mercilessly beat this guy into the grave. Alright, Therian, how many levels are you getting? One, two, three levels! And you can learn a skill! Woohoo! Alright! So, Therian skills! He can learn HP Thief, attack a single foe twice with a dagger, and steal HP equivalent to half of damage dealt. Shackle foe, reduce a single foe's physical attack strength for two turns. Armor corrosive, reduce a single foe's physical defense for two turns. Steal SP, attack a single foe twice with a dagger, and steal SP equivalent to 5% of damage dealt, and share SP. Bestow SP equivalent to 50% of one's current SP to a single ally. For starters, I want to learn Steal SP, because this is going to save so much of your sanity. Even though Therian does not have many skills, um, Steal SP is very, very helpful. All right, so we're going to go all the way back to the other end, and we're going to head up to the second floor. And oh boy, we got some vicious doggos, as well as some ice sentinels. They're weak to lightning, so... Um, are you a bad dog? You're not. Armor Bite, uh, oh, it decreased uh, Cyrus's uh, physical defense. And the Sentinels are gone in one hit. Rip. Um, okay, they weren't weak to. So that means dagger. Yep, there we go. Uh, just finish you off. Let's go for one hit on you. Go for the yeet. With a voice crack. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's another level up. Very, very nice. How does getting close to level 23? And Ophelia's got a lot of job points. Did she get there? Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, let's see what Ophelia can get. Reflective Veil and Revive. We're going to go with Reflective Veil. And her new support skill is Evil Ward. Increase the party's success rate when attempting to flee. Haven't been doing much of that, but 
Yeah, well, that'll be nice to have just in case we want to do an encounter a fight we don't think we that I don't think is a good chance of winning. Anyway, healing great. I'm gonna stop mumbling now. Oh, never mind. I actually didn't. Even, well, it's gonna came back over here because otherwise I would have missed that. So yeah, there's that. All right, got another one. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna head back this way. We're gonna head up these stairs, and I'm gonna go to the right because there is some stuff over here that we can that we missed. This room is completely empty. Don't start things you can't finish. From that battle, Theron was able to grow to level six. All right, so there was nothing in that room, so let's keep heading off to the left. We have a two-door room right over here. Seems to be a dining area of sorts. Very nice. But before we head in this way, we did see that there was this purple chest over here, and it contains 800 leaves. I honor you, my queen. And to top it off, Hanit was able to go to level 23 from that fight. Oh boy. Cyrus is also getting close to some more job points, but he's he's unfortunately quite a ways off from learning uh, his final skill because he require because you know you need three thousand to learn. He nearly, he will need three thousand to learn that final skill. So we have this next area up here, an empty room over there. Let's try this room over here. Oh, purple chest. Not bad. A possum. Therian is now level 7! And he's got enough job points for another skill! For Therian's next skill, I'm going to be going with Armor Corrosive. And we have a new support skill. We have Incidental Attack. When using a non-damaging skill on a foe, there's a 50% chance you will attack as well. So on top of just debuffing him, Therian could just be like, Yeah... Nah, and just attack him as well. Alright, purple chest. Wind attire. Is that any good? That's okay. Physical defense up. Elemental defense goes down by two points. Speed actually goes up by quite a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna equip this. As for Hana, you still got your... Oh yeah, you've got black attire on right now. Also got wind attire on Cyrus right now. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So now that we've got that, let's head up another floor. All right. Let's heal up a little bit. Can take a little bit of damage in that fight. Still got lots of inspiring plums, especially from that one we stole. So, got a couple other rooms we can explore. This one has nothing, but it does have another door that leads to another room. But this room also has nothing in it. Normal chest over here, which contains yet another healing grave. Thus ends your message. Therian is now level 8. Very nice. Alright, we could go down, but I'm gonna ex Explore a little bit more as there seems to be. Well, looks like we have our objective right down there. We have another purple chest up here which has an invigorating nut. That just sounds wrong. Alright, so we got that chest. Our destination is in sight. I want to make sure that there is... There's this right here, bottle of befuting dust or whatever. I honor you, my queen. Level 9, Therian. Hopefully I can get him to level 10, but I'll probably do... A little, 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 little bit of off-screen grinding before we go in here. So, once again, I'll meet you guys once Therian is all caught up. All right, here's what everyone's looking right, like right now. Ophelia was also able to grow to level 17 during our little, during my little, I guess, endeavor, we call it. 
But yeah, anyway, we are all set and ready to go. Let's head on in. So, this is the amazing treasure everyone is talking about. It looks like an ordinary gemstone to me. Can't imagine it's worth all that much. The jewel before you is worth more than your mind could hope to fathom. <sighs> your inability to discern as much is disconcerting, to say the least. Who the hell are you? Not just anyone can sneak up on me like that. I should be the one asking you that question. Not just anyone could have made it this far into the manor, after all. You won't get answers by stroking my ego. I meant it as nothing but genuine praise. Allow me to congratulate you on being the first thief to make it here. You say it as if you wanted this to happen. Just so. We tightened security for that very purpose. We figured no thief worth his salt would be able to turn down such a challenge. Go on. To this end, we even asked the barkeep for help. His job? Find promising thieves and spin tales about this manner. In other words, you tricked thieves into trying to rob this place. Think of it more as appealing to their inner nature. The great treasure of Ravus Manor, guarded by a veritable army. What thief could pass up such glory, such riches? We had such high hopes, but were constantly met with disappointment. But finally, one has proven himself worthy. I should have seen this coming. And yet you did not. And I find myself most grateful for your lack of foresight. So what's your angle? I need not explain that to you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Heathcote. I am a butler in the service of House Ravis. You expect me to believe an ordinary butler snuck up on me? Anyway, who you are won't matter once I'm out of here. Now, if you'll excuse me. I assure you, you won't be going anywhere anytime soon. What? Let's get this over with. My turn. Here we go! Our fight against Heathcote begins! If you have picked Therian as your first traveler, remember how I said Tressa's boss fight can be one of the hardest ones? I take, I take that back. This fight can honestly be one of the hardest one first chapter bosses if you've picked Therian first. Anyway, here we go. Starting off this battle with Heathcote, he's got eight shield points as well as a big plethora of HP. His weaknesses are dagger, bow, fire, ice, and lightning. So you can see why I wanted to bring Cyrus to this boss fight. We also have one Ravis guard who is weak to sword, axe, wind, and light. So we've got our work cut out for us here. So I think to start, we are going to do... An armor corrosive on Heathcote. Hope I can do an incidental attack. There we go. Going for the regular attack. Alright, so Cyrus. Uh, let's see, let's see. I think we'll have you go for the fire bullet. Alright, Hanit. We're going to have you do one boost and we'll do your tried and true leg hold trap. Ophelia? Alright, so next up Ophelia, we'll have you do Holy Light. Get him down a little bit at least. 
because breaking these guys is going to be a bit tough. Alright, Tyrion will have you do a triple boost, and we'll go one, two, three. And Ophelia will have you do one more holy light. Cyrus, fireball! Alright, and then Hanit, Rain of Arrows! There we go, I got some good damage off on him. Regular attack one more time. Alright, Syrian, we will have you do some Steel SP. Nice work. Alright, so now let's do this fully powered Luminescence. And then Cyrus fully powered Firestorm. There goes the guard. Coming. And then for Haunted, we will renew Leg Hold Trap. Pico's already in the yellow, so we're doing pretty good. Alright, so Philia, let's... Yeah, let's see what we want to do here. Let's go for the regular attack. Haunted will have you double boost, and let's summon our... Who do we want to summon? Let's summon Highland Rackin. Therian will have you do one more boost and do an armor corrosive. And then Cyrus Fireball. Okay, he's in the red, so he should be dead pretty soon. Double spear, that hits us twice. So Ophelia will have you go and heal. Therian, go for the two Fight double hit with Steel SP. Hane, Rain of Arrows if you please. Cyrus, go for the one hit. Feel you go for the other one. Therian, Steel SP. For the bow hit, and that's it. The hunt ends. I know I had a relatively easy time with this fight. Well, that was because, and I, you mean, running into two Kates with your main character is going to help that fact. But yeah, if you're having trouble with this boss fight, I recommend just going all out with screen nukes, um, party Y, um, area of effect attacks, stuff like that. I had an easier time than I thought I was going to, but then again, run, like I said, running into a cave is going to do that. For our reward, we get a Energizing Pomegranate Medium, and oh, an Olive of Life! If I recall correctly, those are dropped by the Ravis Guards, and they only have a 30% chance of dropping it. Nice! So, you can hold your own in battle as well. It seems I underestimated you. That makes two of us. Was that a part of your butler training? I see you still have some reservations about my true profession. Though I'm sure my victory here lends my words no credit. Your victory? What in the... Any thief worth his salt should recognize that band. The mark of a convict. The fool's bangle, as some call it. Undeniable proof of a thief's humiliating blunder. Get this off of me! I do not take my orders from you. I've attached it to your arm for a reason. If anyone is to see it, they shall know of your failure here today. You. However, I imagine your pride will not permit you to be seen with it, and that makes it perfect leverage for negotiations. Negotiations? You may have broken into my home, but for now, I will overlook your transgressions. 
Oh, great. More company. Pardon my belated introduction. My name is Cordelia Ravis, and I am the Lady of the House. Regards to your decorator, they sure have a way with traps. Allow me to explain. The treasure you are after is a family heirloom known as the Dragonstones. You don't say. The Dragonstones have been in my family for generations. Wait, Dragonstones? I see one. Yes, once there are more. But the stones were stolen during the chaos following my parents' passing. Fortunately, Heathcote was able to recover the Sapphire Stone. What touching devotion. Is this the part where I move to tears? Perhaps, once you understand your place in this story. If you collect the three remaining stones, we shall remove the band from your arm. So, this was your plan all along? Yes, but please understand, I had no choice. Well, aren't you too clever? Setting a thief to catch a thief. Don't thieves often say, the ensnared has only himself to blame? Yeah, they do. For a butler, you sure know a lot about thieves, old man. I dare not bore you with my story when there are more pressing matters at hand. Will you undertake Miss Ravis's mission, young thief, if you refuse? I'll do the job. Excellent. Then I pray your journey will be a successful one. Oh, you're back. With a tale to tell, too. I'll trade it for a drink. Afraid I don't deal in that currency. Listen, I just came from Ravis Manor. I had a lovely chat with a fellow named Heathcote. Maybe you know him? I did warn you not to go there. So, was it everything you expected it to be? All that and more, and now I'm awfully thirsty. I might need two drinks to get this bad taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Coming right up. It is at my behest that you're setting out. Look, I'm just fulfilling my half of a bargain. Nothing more, nothing less. I understand that, but... He's right, milady. This is simply an agreement between us and a skilled but short-sighted thief. Exactly. There is something you should know before you go. As you saw, I recovered a blue stone. 
It is known as the Sapphire Dragonstone. The remaining three are the Dragonstones of Ruby, Emerald, and Gold, each named for its sheen. And if I steal them all back for you, you'll remove this band. You have my word. Your word? Well, that sounds legitimate. Any idea where I should start looking? Rumor has it that a scholar in Noble Court is researching the Ruby Dragonstone. Noble Court? Great. I'll fit right in. Mr. Therion! What is it this time? Please, do take care out there. <laughs> Did I say something amiss? Never thought a man of my talents would be working for someone like... Uh, it's nothing. You'll get your stones back soon. Just leave the thieving to me. And so Therion set forth his mission, which he begrudgingly accepted, to retrieve the remaining three dragonstones of House Ravis, that he might have the mark of shame removed from his arm. Little did he know what fate awaited him. And that is all eight of our travelers assembled. Next season on Octopath Traveler, with all eight with all eight of our characters in tow, we're going to be revisiting some old towns and seeing if and see if we can maybe help out some people in need. After that, we'll set off for one of for one of well seven possible locations and see just which and see just what tra our travelers are up to as we continue each of their stories. See you guys then.